Hey, it's Jaria. And today, we're going to be having a conversation with visionary green architect, David Fodrum. that you've seen in Trinidad and Tobago since you first came here? Wow, that's a big one. Well, I came when I was six years old. I'm 66 now, that's like even 60 years. Wow. Um, a massive change. Um, one of the saddest ones is, um, is climate change, which is, which is pretty real. When you can see it yeah. yourself in 60 years, it's massive climate change. Yeah, that's the crazy. dry season looks nothing like what a dry season used to look like. Wow. And Socially, we are also a lot more um, hyperactive and nervous and mm -hmm. not concerned about each other the way we used to be 60 years ago, unfortunately. Wow. And um, wow. yeah, so those are, those are two big changes there. Spectacular Northern Range Hill, which is very beautiful, isn't it? People have been getting a little bit New Yorkish, you know, when, when you have less time and everybody wants a piece of the pie. Mm -hmm. And um, wow. so, so that's unfortunate. So, so I would like to get back, use the nature as a way to grind, you know, to ground us. Because if you go out at our fantastic nature, nature will ground you down to the, will grind you down to be in harmony with nature. Yeah. Know? So it's just to spend time out there. What is one piece of advice that you have for the nation? One piece of it, well, that's one I could really spend a few days on. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> but one piece of advice for the nation, wow. But I think, you know, one of the biggest things I would say is we need to be a bit more open minded and to go with the times. There's absolutely no reason in the world why Trinidad should be 10 and 15 years behind times in certain things. Like mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about architecture, we're still building block homes. Mm -hmm. That is the way we built 150 years ago. Yeah, which is and, wow, you know, crazy. You know, and there used to be structural reasons why we had to be 15 years behind the rest of the world. Because mm -hmm. it took time for the knowledge to get down here. And, but now there's absolutely no reason. And it just flabbergasts me why in major areas like smart building, green building technology, um, vertiports, all of these things that are coming on full stream. And why are we five and ten years behind the time? We shouldn't be. We should be right up with everybody. So you think like open-mindedness is like one of the biggest factors that comes Yeah, open-mindedness. For example, 3D printing. Mm -hmm. We started 3D printing six years ago. Right. People should have been beating down our door, but we want a 3D printer and we want advice. And they were so nervous about 3D printing. What is that now, boy? I'm going to let some fellas bust their head on that for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They're always <laughs> waiting for everybody to bust their head and yeah, exactly. make sure. Yeah, and it's just to me, can the innovation take so long to actually arrive? Yeah, and then... Yeah, that's crazy. And it's the actual culture because things like in the like, US, they actually pride themselves. They want to be on the cutting edge, even if, even if they have to take a few licks. You yeah. can print anything once it fits into this box here, 15 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches in full color. that you are most excited about for the next 10 years? The next 10 years, wow, there's so many. There's so many. Um, but of course, there's the vertiports and the, uh, EV, the uh, EVTOL is gonna totally transform transportation radically over the next 10 years. Yeah. Of course, electric cars, massive, massive changes. And we all need to be going that way. Last night, I was looking at the uh, Aptera Mm -hmm. which, I, which I think you know, I'm going to place an order for is better than the uh, Tesla because really? it's solar powered. You know, it's just showing where it's going. Is it's fully electric but totally powered by the sun. Mm -hmm. So the whole oh, car okay. it has solar <laughs> panels and you can get 41 miles a day, which is all you need in Trinidad. So vertiports, electric cars, anything else? Um, well, you know, the uh, Internet of Things is massive and smartphones continue to be like a part of that. Yeah. Like I'm getting a, a um, Samsung Note uh, 22 in February, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's kind so of cool. like, that's kind of like the, the, 
the hub for a lot of the things. So yeah. from that, I'm gonna run my home, all of the curtains, wow. and and you know, run really? your life and your office from a smartphone, which, which has been happening, but it's gonna to continue to accelerate. Yeah. So David, where can people find you? Well, the best way really is the old-fashioned email, just david at fojodesign.com. So it's just my first name, david at fojodesign.com. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right.